Gets home from Universal Atlanta Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Harvey! Thank you so much. Listen, everybody, welcome to Family Feud. We've got two great families right here, and they're going to battle it out for a chance to win a whole lot of cash, man. And if you win it five times in a row, you're going to be driving away in a brand new car. You got it. So if you're ready, let's play the feud. Give me Laura and give me Danielle. How y'all doing? Great. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. We've surveyed 100 people. We've got the top seven answers on the board. Try to get the most popular answer. Here we go. Name something a girl might do to her ex-boyfriend's car. Danielle. Key it? Key it. Let's look for key it. I'm gonna say slash the tires. Slash the tires. (laughs) <laughs> Let's look for slash the tires. What are you going to do? You're going to pass the play. They're going to play. All right, let's go. Anytime you ask a question like this and you get the top two answers, these are not the families you want to play with here. So, Freddie, what do you think? Name something a girl might do to her ex-boyfriend's car as revenge. She gonna break those windows out. She gonna break the... <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Breaking the windows out. <laughs> Laura, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Great. What do you do? I am a retired teacher. I just line dance now. <laughs> Tell you what, if you all get into fast money round, I'm, I'm, okay, I want to see I that. sure will. I want to see it. Okay, I sure Lord, will. Okay, Laura, name sure me something will. that a girl might do to her ex-boyfriend's car is revenge. Have it towed away. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Have it towed away. Oh. I go outside and you towed my car away. <laughs> <laughs> going to be some real problems. So, hi, Avis. How you doing? Hi. You got this? Yes, I well, got it. Well, obviously, you want to get to it, so <laughs> give me something a girl might do to her ex-boyfriend. Egg it! Egg it! Egg it! Egg it! Let's look for egg it! Oh. I got this. <laughs> Come on, Darius. You got this. You got hey, listen it. to me. Darius, you got two strikes. This is on you. She's gonna smash them headlights. Smash the headlights. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. Smashing the headlights. Oh. April, you got two strikes. It's on you now. You're the team captain. They probably voted you the captain because they got the most confidence right. in you. <laughs> Day Coos, get ready. You could steal this right here. She's going to have a boot put on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm go- I- oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. I hope it's up there, okay. but I'm going to start the walk over to the day Let's put a boot on it. <laughs> day Coons, you got a chance. What, what do you think this is? What do you think? I like to do it like this. What do you think? Uh, oh, spray, spray paint. paint. Spray, spray paint. paint. Hubcaps. Hubcaps. What do you think? Okay, Danielle. Spray paint. You're going to go with spray paint yeah, the car. Spray paint. These people are crazy. We're looking for spray paint. <laughs> Number four. Yeah. And number seven. Sugar in the gas tank. Hey, let's move on to question number two. I need Freddie and I need Bridget. Let's go. <laughs> He's so cute. This is so good. are you. He's cute. You're cute oh, too. I'm cute too. Well, you cute too. Oh, thanks. It's exciting. We cute. We cute. We probably ain't heard that in a long time, huh, Freddie? 
<laughs> not That's answer. okay, though. Well, here we go. Top five answers on the board. 100 people survey. Try to get the most popular answer. Here it is. Name something an older woman buys for her boy toy. Bridget? A car. A car. A car. <laughs> what do you think? She buys a ring. A ring? Ring. A ring! <laughs> wow. Bridget, what do you want to do? You want to pass or play? Let's play. Let's play. They're going to play. Let's, play. Let's go. It's pretty good. Tom, how you doing? Very good, sir. Name something an older woman buys for her boy toy. She wants to make him look good. Clothes. Yes. Clothes. Yes. Let's see if clothes is up there. Yes. Todd, how you doing? Good to be here, Steve. You've ran with the Bulls twice? Yes, sir. Are you crazy? It's not too bad. You, you really kind of make it as dangerous as you want it to oh, be. Oh, the Bulls have nothing to do with this. <laughs> mm. What would an older woman buy for her boy toy? I'm gonna say a house, maybe a nice pad to live in. <laughs> <laughs> this boy toy is about his business. Let's look for the house. And that's one strike, okay? It's only one strike. Krista, what do you think it is? I would say a motorcycle. A motorcycle? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. That might be up there. Let's check for motorcycle. Okay. We got two strikes. This is it. You got to save the day. You're the team captain. I hey, Douglas, try. you guys get ready. You got a chance to steal here. Name something an older woman buys for her boy toy. I'm going to go with boat. A boat? Yeah, a big boat. Yeah. Good answer, baby. Good answer. What are these boys doing? <laughs> a car, a boat, a motorcycle? Gee whiz. Let's look for boat. <laughs> oh, let's go, Douglas. Okay. Let me ask you. What do you think? What do you think it is? Any idea? Cologne. Cologne? Video games. Video games? Boat is already gone. Boat is already gone. Video games. Video games for the boy toy. What's up for you, April? What do you think? I'm gonna go with the family, Steve, and say video games. Video games. This is obviously a little bitty boy. Let's look for video game. The day cools have it. Number four. Toy, Toy Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Yeah. Cologne. They said cologne. Oh, man. Hey, remember the goal is 300 points, everybody, so don't go away. We'll be right back. The day Coos have 152. Welcome back to Family Feud. Let's do a recap. The Douglases haven't scored yet, but you're going to turn it around. Yeah. The Day Coos are leading with 152 Ooh. points. Let's play Feud. Give me Laura. Give me Tom. Let's go. Okay, great. Listen up. Point values have been doubled now. We've got the top five answers on the board. Name something you and your spouse have very different opinions about. Laura? Finance. Finance. Let's look and see if finance is on the board. Yeah, buddy. What do you want to do, Laura? You're going to play. They're going to play. Thanks a lot, Tom. Let's go. How long you been married, Laura? 38 years. 38 years. That's how you get the number one answer right away. <laughs> this lady knows. Okay, let's go. Name something you and your spouse have very different opinions about. Raising kids. Raising kids. I like that. Let's look for raising kids. That's the kid. You got that up there. I like that. Darius? Chores. Chores. Yeah. I like that. Let's look for chores. Oh. I think I got it. Hey, Darius, I, I kind of like that answer. I thought that should have been a I think I'm done. April, you think you've got it? I'm going to say religion. So let me get this straight. You went into the marriage knowing that he didn't want to pray. <laughs> okay. Religion.
<laughs> you better than me. I, I, I didn't see that. You only got one strike. Name right. something you and your spouse have very different opinions about. Uh, having sex. All right. <laughs> Obviously, Freddie, it hasn't gone your way often. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if sex is on the board. <laughs> hey, Lauren, let's go. Name okay. something you and your spouse have very different opinions about. Vacation. Vacation. Yeah. Okay. That's a possibility. Yeah. Vacation. Yeah. Oh, that's two strikes. Oh, Avis, it's on you. I'm gonna say your work schedule. Good answer. Good answer. Day get ready. This could be your shot. We're looking for work schedule. Oh, TV. What do you think? TV shows. TV shows. Politics. Politics. TV. TV shows. TV. 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 Well, Danielle, it's up to you. You're the captain. Um, Name something you and your spouse have very different opinions about. I'm going to go with TV. What to watch on TV? Yes. Or just yeah. TV? TV, yeah. Let's yes. see if it's up there. Oh, that Douglas family. Let's see what the remaining answer was. Number two. Politics. They don't listen to you. You know why? Because you're the guy that runs with the bulls. No news. Hey, the day Coos have 152 points, but the Douglas family's on the board. It's anybody's game right now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. And boy, do we have a good one cooking here. The Douglas family got on the board. They've got 104 points. And the day Coos are leading with 152 points. Let's get it on. Avis, Todd, let's play. Point values have tripled. We only have the top four answers on the board, okay? Name a sport where the players get injured a lot. Avis. Football. Football. Hey, hey, hey. Running with the bulls. <laughs> Stay home and watch the football game. What do you want to do? We're Pass play. Play. We're going to play. Thanks a lot, Todd. Hang on. Darius, Darius, name a sport where players get injured a lot. Hockey. 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 Oh. Hockey. Oh. Hockey's up there. Oh. Come on, April. Got it. Got it. <laughs> April? I'm going to say boxing. Yeah. 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 Boxing. Oh. Only one. Oh. Only one answer there. If you get this, you're gonna win the game. Basketball. Basketball. Do they get injured a lot in basketball? You better believe it. The Douglas family is gonna be playing for fast money. God, JT, you are a great family. You guys were great. Bridget, good family, man. Nice guys, good spirit. You guys are fabulous, man. Thank you so much. Who's gonna play Fast Money? We'll be right back. We're gonna play Fast Money right after this. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to The Feud. The Douglas family won the game, and it's time to play for Fast Money, $20,000. Yeah. Hey, but listen up, everybody. Before we get started, uh, someone is here who would like to uh, welcome you and wish you all luck. Hello, my name is Monique, and I'm here to support the Douglas family. Good luck and fast money and bring home the $20,000. Okay, listen to me. April is off stage and can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer, okay? If you can't think of something, just say pass, and I'll get back to it if we have enough time, okay? Okay. Now, if you and April together get yourself 200 points, I want you to tell me what's gonna happen. You're gonna win what? $20,000! $20,000! All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, 20 seconds on the clock, please. 
Name something you might see on a bedroom ceiling. Span. Name something that's sticky. Gum. Where do men splash cologne? On their neck. Name something people blow out. Bubbles. Tell me the latest time it's still okay to call someone on the phone. Nine o'clock. Let's turn around. Avis, I gotta tell you, you surprised me. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Name something you might see on a bedroom ceiling. You said... Fan. Our survey said... 41. <laughs> Next, I asked you to name something that's sticky. You said... Gum. Survey said... 20. I then said, where do men splash cologne? You then said, neck, survey said. <laughs> you are doing absolutely amazing. <laughs> then I said, name something people blow out. You said, bubbles, survey said. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Then I said, tell me the latest time that it's still okay to call someone on the phone. You said... 9 p.m. Survey said... 44. Wow. 136 points. Clear the board and let's bring out April. She did a big number right here. I gotta tell you. April, how you doing? Fine, Steve. Your sister came out here and <laughs> killed it. Yes. Your sister put 136 points on what? the board. <laughs> All you need is 64 points to win. Okay. Okay? I got it. So, so I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'll okay. say try again, you give me another answer, okay? Okay. Now, this round is gonna be a little bit tougher because sometimes you might duplicate it, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, turn around. Let's remind everybody of Avis's answers. Okay. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Okay, the clock is gonna start after I read the first question. April, take a deep breath. You are there. This money is yours. Here we go. Name something you might see on a bedroom ceiling. Lights. Name something that's sticky. Candy. Be a, a bit more specific. Try again. Pass. Okay, we'll come back. Where do men splash cologne? On their neck. <laughs> On their Try chest. Again. Name something people blow out. Candles. Tell me the latest time it's still okay to call someone on the phone. Ten. Okay, now let's go back. Name something that's sticky. Uh, tar. You said candy first, they're gonna give you candy. Okay. They're gonna let candy be the answer. Okay, let's turn it. <laughs> Here we go. I asked you to name something that you might see on the bedroom ceiling. You said... Lights. Survey said... 15. <laughs> ceiling fan was the number one answer. I asked you to name something that's sticky. You said... Candy. Our survey said... 12. <laughs> the number one answer was glue. Okay, then I asked you, where do men splash cologne? You said, chest. Our survey said, <laughs> Okay, then I asked you to name something that people blow out. You said, candles. Boy, do I like that answer. Let's see how many points you get for that. Steve Harvey, see you next time, everybody.